All right, so I'm just gonna stack all this stuff into the truck. I got about 123 cases going in here. I'll definitely and most likely would be in this store for two hours, maybe two and a half, depending on how much I gotta clean up and reorganize. So yeah, catch you on the next.
time. It's time to show the world what we're made of. And you'll see his power show up like never before. Now I really believe God allows us all to have some weaknesses so that we'll always have to trust him. And so if you're sitting around today waiting to feel good about yourself until you get rid of everything you struggle with and until you feel like you're perfect, you're going to be sitting around your whole lifetime. Well, Joel, I'd feel good about myself if I could drop 20 pounds. Feel good about myself if I'd be a little more patient. I'd be a little more understanding. Now I'm asking you to start feeling good about yourself right now. You're not perfect, but I know you're trying. And God looks at your heart. He sees the inside. He is changing us little by little. We're all at different stages. My attitude should be, God, I know I have these areas I need to improve in, but I'm doing my best. And God, I also know that you have already accepted and approved me. So I'm going to start accepting myself. And I'm making up my mind. I'm going to go through this day feeling good about me. And when those old condemning thoughts come back, telling you, yeah, but you still struggle in this area. You can answer back, yes, that's true. But I know that I'm changing. Yeah, but you lost your temper yesterday. You blew it. That's true. But I repented. Now I know I'm forgiven. Well, you didn't get as much done at work this week as you should have. Maybe not, but I did my best, so I feel good about me. See, you cannot allow these condemning voices to take root and set the direction for your life. If you do, it's going to ruin your whole day. I know a lot of people, they just swallow that junk, and they get in agreement with it. And I'm a failure. Can't do anything right. I don't know what it takes. No, give me that junk. Keep your life moving in a direction. I heard about this man. He is a small son. When I take a walk through the mountains one day, all of a sudden this little boy slipped. He slipped about 20 or 30 yards down the mountainside. I'm going to be right over this bush. He screamed out, somebody help me. And this voice boomed back, somebody help me. He got confused, kind of frustrated. He said, who are you? The boy shouted back, who are you? He got angry and he said, you're a coward. The boy shouted back, you're a coward. He said, you're a fool. The boy shouted back, you're a fool. At that time, his dad got down and looked up. He said, dad, who is that? His dad got laughed. He said, son, that's called an echo, but it's also called a lie. He said, let me show you something. The dad shouted out, you're a winner. The boy shouted back, you're a winner. Dad shouted out, you've got what it takes. The boy's going back, you've got what it takes. Dad shouted out, you can make it. The boy shouted out, you can make it. He said, son, that's exactly how he is in life. Whatever you sit out is always going to come back to you. Let me ask you this today. What are you sitting out about yourself? Man, I'm a failure. I'm unattractive. I'm undisciplined. I got a terrible temper. Nobody likes to be around me. But you need to start sitting out. I'm approved. I'm accepted. I'm the righteousness of God. I'm clear. You're the entire thing. Whoa, that's Make sure that you're sitting out good things about yourself. Think about when Jesus was baptized, he came out of the water. On to the next. I'm at uh, one of my delis. I haven't been there in a minute. In a minute. Um, it's been it's been crazy, man. This this whole thing is affecting business. So. Not having the right product and what you need. You need that man. The man. Gotta deliver. Always tell you you're never doing enough. You're not working hard enough. You're not being a good enough parent. You gave, but you didn't give enough. You came to church, but you were late. You ate pretty good yesterday, but you shouldn't eat that last dessert. So quit believing his lies. You have a thousand good qualities about you to every one negative quality. And girl, I'm just so impatient. Well, maybe that's true. And have you ever thought about the fact you're always on time? You're persistent. You're determined. Well, I don't think I'm as good a mom as I should be. Well, maybe not. But have you ever noticed your children are doing great in school? Your children never miss a meal? Well, I'm not a very good husband, Joel. Yeah, but you never miss a house payment. You provide a good living for your family. Well, I've made a lot of mistakes in the past. Yeah, but you chose to come today. You chose to watch today. That's a pretty great choice. Why don't you take off your old rags of condemnation? <laughs> Why don't you take off those old rags of condemnation and start putting on your robe of righteousness? Put on the breastplate of God's approval. Friends, I want you to feel good about yourself. 
I know that when you are positive to again coming up the weekend, nothing is really full the way I want it to look. So I'll make an order for Wednesday. Alright, so I'm done packing out. As you see, everything is neat, but kind of empty. Coming up from the weekend, you never know what's going to sell. So it's never really accurate. Now that I know what sold out and what I need, the order for Wednesday, today's Monday, will be somewhat accurate. I made it to my third store. This is how it looks like. The store looks like this. It means that people came and shop and had a party. Look at that. Yeah. I don't know about the Doritos. Like. Alright, this is all I have. So that means. I'm gonna have to have a nice order for the next time I come. I'll do what I gotta do, make it look nice. That's that. Okay, there we go. What's up, man? How you doing? Let's see what we got right here. Right All right, on to the next door. All games. So I'm almost done loading up my cart. Um, I had one full of these already on a stamp. Guys, guys, you gotta try one of these. This right here, man. It's waking me up. We have a lot of work today. We have a lot of work today. I'm looking at a 12 hour shift. So 12, 13 hour shift, you know. This is going to be a long, and beautiful, productive day. Target, let's get it. And this is what my day looks like. I 
woke up so late today. Had a weekend, crazy weekend, man. Had church in the morning yesterday. Then went home. Had to sell some furniture, sell some rims. Got to move out my apartment. Went home for a couple hours. Then went to the beach for four or five hours. Hung out with the kids. Now I'm back to this. I feel like I'm still sleeping.